about to walk 100 1,200 miles in just 60 days to raise money for the Alzheimer's Society, who have been a key support to his family during his father's treatment. Paul Lindsay's father, Richard, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease two years ago, but his family had noticed changes in Richard's behaviour for many years before. And since the diagnosis, the Alzheimer's Society have been providing support for Richard and his wife and Paul's mum, who became Richard's carer when he fell ill. Paul has taken on an incredible challenge to walk Land's End to John O'Groats as a way of saying thank you. And I'm really pleased to say joining me on the sofa is Paul himself to tell us a bit more. Thank you so much for joining joining us. Let's start. Tell us a bit more about your dad. Yeah, so uh, dad's, dad's a wonderful guy. He's such a kind-hearted guy. He, uh, he's, he's a senior social worker in his career. He worked for both Nottinghamshire Council and Sheffield City Council. Uh, and unfortunately worked with the families in the in the Hillsborough disaster in the gym. You know, very sad, you know, so he's had a lot of big things to deal mm. with. So um, heart of gold, as I say, such a nice man. And uh, we've always been really close as a family. And my dad, one of my dad's favourite phrases is togetherness, the family and everything. So we've been really lucky. Uh, he's my best man at my wedding. Oh. My mates were, were uh, ushers. And uh, we've done so much together. We, uh, we yeah, I, oh, wow, where do you start? <laughs> he sounds like a wonderful man. <laughs> he really is. So let's talk about the challenge that you're doing. Because yeah. it's not just a little challenge. Yeah. It's not a challenge that's going to take you an afternoon. No. This is a big challenge. Yeah, I thought, yeah, this is a massive challenge. I, I, I kind of, I, I love, uh, we love running. We're in Bingham Running Club. Um, you say we're extremely fit guys at one stage. <laughs> and um, <laughs> hey, you are. Look at all that walking you're going to do. <laughs> um, yeah, it'll certainly help. And um, yeah, so we used to run a lot together and all that. And he, he's just, you know, really, really happy guy. Um, and so, yeah, going back to the Alzheimer's, literally, it's, it, 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 it's become a brain fog. He's, he's gradually walking away from us. And that's how it feels. So I was out walking one day and I thought, well, what better thing to do? Originally, what happened when I was eight years old, I saw Surrey and Botham walk from uh, John and Groats to Land's End. Um, and, I th and it sort of planted a seed with me. So I, I can't think of a better time to do this. So, um, yeah, it's um, 20 miles a day for 60 days, while camping along the way. Wow. Um, and um, I've had so many people reach out to me, both with regard to the, the Alzheimer's and, and had their families have had similar issues as my dad. As I say, the diagnosis only happened two years ago, even though he's had it six years. So you can imagine my mum's uh, my mum's uh, confusion herself, wondering why my dad's behaving in certain ways. Absolutely. So with the, you know, with, uh, with going back to keep jumping around subjects, right. but I, I uh, you know, going back to the walk, I've, I've had to practice the, the wild camping. Um, I've, I've been doing 20 miles and then camping 20 miles. So I've been sort of getting the feel for it. Um, I don't think you can ever plan for this type of thing. I don't um, think you can, because you're taking two months unpaid off work as yeah, well two to months. do this. I, I myself, like my dad, like working social care, so the boss is there. I've worked for them for over 30 years, so they've been kind enough to let me have the two months off unpaid. Uh, so I want to thank them for that. And, um, you know, yeah, so it, it's just going to be amazing. And I'll just take Dad with me all, all the way, so to speak. You know, it's going to be great. You know? Absolutely. And we were hearing reports on Monday uh, yeah. that there was an announcement of a new drug that may help prevent uh, neurodivergent diseases like Alzheimer's. Absolutely. And so things like this, raising money for charities that help, they genuinely could make a difference in the future. Yeah, absolutely. I was lucky enough the other day to uh, meet uh, Dr Richard Oakley, who's, who um, had an interview with me. So he was telling me a bit more about it. And this is the first time for over 20 years that there's only been any developments in the, on the medical side with regard to drug and there's two coming one year. Wow. So there's still testing got to be done but it's looking very favourable so for future generations and I think ultimately the ultimate goal is to make this the last generation who have dementia and so um, we're treated in a genetic line, a bit like you'd you'd um, you treat asthma, or you know you'd you'd, you'd um, you know you'd, treat, you'd use insulin for diabetes, for instance. I mean, that will just be it's, unbelievable. It's incredible, it really is. And in terms of how day-to-day -day life for your family changed with your dad's diagnosis, yeah. what happened? Yeah, so obviously there started to be changing behaviours. Um, you know, we're uh, you know we're, we're a fun family as well, and light-hearted, and it got to the point where we found socks in the fridge. You know. So, you know, the tragedy of all that for mum. But, um, yeah, there were certain uh, subtle changes at first, selecting wrong words and, you know, that type of thing. Um, but it, it's gradually, you know, as I say, clouded his brain. And the tragedy is the man is still very fit, physically fit, and, and uh, he's got to the point now where 
say like we look on a photo and reminisce, you can't, sometimes can't see the difference between a male and a female right. or, a, or, you know, a brother or a sister or et cetera, et cetera. It's He's struggling to differentiate different things, different words are coming out, you know, it's all that, that sort of cognitive thing. So let's just finish up with your challenge. You're obviously raising money for this. Yep. How can people find out more? Yeah, so obviously I've got a Just Giving page. Um, I'm, I'm on Facebook, so it's Paul Lindsay. Um, and then I'm on, on Twitter as well, on the feed there. I'm at PN Lindsay. So if you'd be so kind to, um, you know, go on to, go on to there and, and, and give, it'd be absolutely brilliant. Or just direct message me and I'll, I'll just point you in the right direction. Amazing. Now, I think, you know, um, we love Nottingham. Absolutely love Nottingham. Sure, massive Nottingham Forest fans. Uh, Dad's a season ticket holder with me still, so you know we, we we'd love this county to get behind us, and uh, let's really make some money for Alzheimer's. Amazing! But so lovely to have you on the sofa, and so nice to hear about your dad. He sounds like an amazing he man. Is. Thank you so much, Paul. Keep us posted. I certainly will. Thank you. Finally tonight, Splendor Festival.